Good morning, good afternoon, Ms. Larnika and Ms. Matei will be talking about very special products and first one that we will be talking is difference of squares. Okay, difference of squares. How about we start in a completely different spot? How about we start by expanding x minus y, x plus y? How about we do that as our introduction? How would I expand? Miss Lamika, would you help me, please? Well, um, we learned how to expand two binomials. So take a first term multiplied with the first term in a second uh, binomial, so that x squared. First term times second term in a second binomial plus xy. Okay. And we'll do the second term multiplied by first term. That's do it in an um, alphanumerical order minus xy. And negative y times positive y will give us negative y squared. Okay. So look what happens here. I see a positive xy and the negative xy so guess what i'm left with x squared minus y squared what a surprise now i understand my title difference of squares that's exactly what we have here difference of squares equals x minus y x plus y correct that's correct Okay, so now that we know that, this formula is quite important. We need to apply until we know it. Let's start applying it to 49 x squared minus 1. But this doesn't look like a difference of squares, Miss Arteta. Well, I think I can write the 49 x squared as a 7x to the power of 2. Oh, like that? No, no, no. Put it in the brackets. Oh, so everything to yes. the power of 2. I understand and now. And of course, I can write 1 as a power of 2 as well. 1 squared. Square. There you go. So now I have a difference of 2 squares. And I can write it in a factored form as a 7x plus 1 multiplied by 7x minus 1. There you go. My x plus y, x minus y from the formula. That's correct. Okay, so we said practice makes perfect. How about we do another one? 25 x squared minus 64 y squared. Can I write this as a difference of two squares? I think that the first term should be 5x. Right. The whole thing to the power of 2. And the second term is 8y. Okay. And the whole thing to the power of 2. So now what I have is 5x plus 8y. Yes. And in the second bracket, 5x minus 8y. All right. Good. So more practice for you from the textbook.